Any artist is bound to be a bit nervous before going on stage, but what if you don't even know where the stage is going to be? Right, we've got to go back and pick up Tom Perry from the train station quickly. Finding your stage manager is only the start on this tour because every night Josie Long and the other guerrilla entertainers have to find a venue and then tell the would-be audience where it is. Every place we've been to, the people there have said, why here? It's quite an ambitious target, but I want to try and engage young people with politics again. I want to try and speak to them about it in a language that they understand. And things like that youth centre that you go to every day in Sheerness and Sheppey, that's closing down, that's real. That's because of the cuts that people are making. Be young, be fucking brilliant, be strong, be with shadows lengthening and darkness coming, it's time for a decision on tonight's venue. I really wanted just to do something, even like in a stunt way, um, to go around trying to talk to people about the cuts and to try and connect with young people and uh, get to talk to young people and say, like, there are lots of people who don't believe in what the government's doing and we want to fight it and we want to give you some empowerment to know that you can fight it and you should fight it. That campaigning spirit means Josie's been able to call on some old friends to take the stage with her on this dark, cold, windy night. I actually created Milton Keynes. Um, the last time I had anything like a proper job, it was working in the administration of laying the gas pipes when this was just acres and acres of mud and holes. You set that up near some steps and suddenly you're in an amphitheatre and that is amazing. It feels so powerful. It feels like DIY music, DIY culture and direct action politics in one. And that's amazing. That's like the best. The most well at heel audience we've ever had. <laughs> um, we've, we've 